Shanoka, I was thinking of doing as many practice questions as possible because everyone's saying that's probably the best way of preparing. Um, what do you think of that? Mm, okay, so it reminds me of when I was in year 12 and it was the same thing being said back then as well, where this exam, just like school, it's all about doing practice questions. And what a lot of people miss in this understanding that, that I had missed as well, actually, you know, when I was in year 12, um, all the way from about November of year 11, I had heard from you know, friends of mine that they were doing thousands and thousands of questions, and so I decided to do that as well. So I purchased uh, you know, thousands of practice questions, mock exams, mini mock exams, and I made a schedule for myself on exactly when I would do these questions every single month, all the way through until the exam in July. And I remember doing this. So even when school started at the end of January through February and March, I was doing practice questions, practice exams, and I, I remember distinctly the difference between doing questions for this and doing questions for school. Whilst at school, as I was practicing, I could see the improvement. It's like as I was learning a concept for maths, I could see me learning and improving through the practice that I was doing. But with this exam, I realized that no matter how much I was practicing, sometimes I'd go up a little bit, but then I'd eventually come back down. You know, sometimes I'd get to the 80th percentile, then I'd be at the 10th percentile. And it's just a constant fluctuation over a period of time. And there was never any improvement, actually. It just depended on the day and how I was feeling. And it was so frustrating. It got to the point where I decided to do even more practice because I wasn't seeing any improvement. Uh, I decided to do so much practice, I compromised my year 12 subjects. Uh, I started doing pouring in those. Uh, and I just never saw any improvement. So I remember towards the end of July, I walked into that exam and I had no idea how I was going to go. And the moment that exam was done, I realized I failed as well, which is exactly what had happened. So for me, it was demoralizing. You know, I was so passionate about getting to med school. Um, you know, my parents had extremely high hopes for me. A lot of my friends had done well. It was a demoralizing experience. And that pain actually showed me why relying on doing practice questions and doing as many practice questions as you can is one of the worst ways of preparing. Why? Why is it that just doing practice questions is the worst way of preparing? Well, it's because what are you actually practicing? This is what I kept asking myself. What am I trying to practice here? I have no idea how I'm supposed to be answering these questions. And so the following year, I decided to reset this exam and I realized that the mistake I'd made was not knowing what to actually practice. So this time I went on the website of this exam, so the UCAT consortium for you guys, and I realized that the mission behind this exam is very clear. They told us exactly why this exam is here and what they're testing for, and they're testing for skills. I realized that. And then I realized every single question, every single section, comes from this principle. And so through that realization, what I then did was I reverse engineered every question that I came across back to this principle and found that I didn't need to make up a method of solving these questions. They're there. And from that point on, I did a little bit of practice to reinforce the way these questions are supposed to be solved, to make sure that I was getting faster, I was understanding it better, and it got to a point where it was so instinctive, so intuitive, that it was just perfectly natural for me. So that year I was at the exam, I was put in the 100th percentile, and obviously I, I, I got into medical school, I got scholarships into medical school, and this is what I've been teaching for the last eight years. So look, always remember, it's never about practice. Practice is the final step that's useful right at the end of your preparation. But ask yourself, what am I practicing? What am I trying to achieve here? And if you can't answer that question, don't practice.